Um, like I said, you've been working on reflection uh, in engineering. So what I wanted to start with, uh, since not everyone's necessarily going to be familiar with that word in a pedagogical context, <coughs> was to ask you if you could give us a little spiel about what reflection is uh, and why educators should be thinking about it. Sure, sure. But before I go into that, I should acknowledge that uh, this is I'm just one small piece of a much larger uh, effort here. There's a consortium of 12 different institutions around the country um, that are uh, they're working together with funding from the Helmsley Charitable Trust to help uh, more engineering educators understand um, and uh, understand reflection, how it might be valuable, and um, to, to get them to uh, to get them to you use reflection in their classes. Um, and that's, the, well, not just classes, any educational setting, really. Uh, so I can talk more about the consortium uh, later. I think there's already a link on the, uh, the Zoom web page. But um, as for how we like to think about reflection, I guess I'll say that um, we're, we're trying to keep our notion of reflection pretty broad to, uh, to allow as many people to bring some good ideas to the table as possible. Um, so, in its essential form, we like to think of it as looking back on some kind of experience uh, or a set of experiences, whether it's something that's just occurred or something that was 10 years ago. Um, <clears throat> and uh, looking back on those experiences with the intention of learning um, something in particular. And there are lots of different things you can learn from the experience. Uh, I think most often when we think about education, there's a tendency to assume that we're talking about learning content or skills. Um, but I can talk a little bit later about how we like to think about it in broader terms than that. Uh, but anyway, so taking some kind of past experience or experiences, um, looking back on them to learn something, um, and a piece that maybe isn't quite as intuitive uh, is we also like to make sure that there's a looking forward to connecting that learning or connecting those past experiences to some kind of future action. And that could be something as simple as, um, you know, what am I going to do tomorrow when I go to lecture? Uh, or something much more significant, like, am I really in the right career path? Uh, do I want to go to graduate school? Um, am, I, am I really happy studying what I'm studying? So those are the three pieces. Looking back, uh, with intention to learn from those experiences, connecting to some future action. And I think, you know, we're hoping that that hits the sweet spot. Um, uh, one of my colleagues, Jennifer Kearns, um, likes this notion of uh, liberating constraints, something that's constrained enough to be useful, but broad enough that there's a lot of room for creativity, a lot of to, to bring ideas to production. 